this is Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 8 and 9 of Awadi Monogatari. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 8 in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, about Chinabu. Why would you want us to forget that? Why would you want to forget it yourself? Honestly, yeah, really trying to hide anything from her is like fucking oblivious. This is why we don't do that shit. Are we talking about the fact that, you know, he got stabbed by that kid? Makes sense. Bullshit. Oh, it's hard on the finger, everybody. Okay. So basically, some time after the movie. Okay. I'm guessing it has to do with that sword. You know what? Good, because you know why? I think when we, way, 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 way back when we were on Hanekawa's second story, and we got to see him again, and you see him with this giant ass sword that she had. I was like, wait, 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 wait. How did you get the sword? I need questions, answers on that. And if it is that, then bitch, fucking thank you. Because that was something long fucking last year that I wanted to know about. And I mean, I hate the fact that we're getting into it now, but with this series, what I really love about it is it always goes back and forth to um put unsolved answers that were, yeah, unsolved answers that you had for several different stories. And I should have got freaking dishes because my freaking nose. Somebody? I'll <laughs> have to worry about that after.
No, just reminiscent about your arm. Yeah. Comedy, you were like so one of the weirdest characters, uh, other weirdest characters of the series. But you know what? I still love you for who you are. See, she, her poses, I fucking love them. I mean, she is, like, just <laughs> taking it to the next level. I mean, JoJo poses are the next level, but... <laughs> No, Hanagawa did. Because Hanagawa was sleeping there until Sanjohara came, took her ass home, and you're like, no, you're sleeping here. Did you really have to um, do that, Convert? But you know, that's okay. You extra. <laughs> I'll be with something. Why? What do you need help with? <laughs> Is it for Oceano's request? Exactly. Well, I'm guessing you need to show her where it is or what the help is. Yeah, why would you make this place a dating spot?
Oh, 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 are you gonna introduce her who, who I think you're gonna introduce her to? I am too. <laughs> oh my god. So come on, let's go. I don't think so. So the news. The fuck? What the fuck? Is that? Wait! It's a little too easy, though. That samurai outfit. Who? That belonged to the person who, um, freaking Shinobu first turned it, right? It has to be. Ah, Shinobu. Oh, what was it missing? Well, I mean, not only literally a body, but, um... <laughs> True, and you're the only one who knows, so you should do it. No, 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 because he might fuck up. It, I think it would just be better. <laughs> Possibly. I'm going to know until you do something. Oh. So y'all just going to continue to stand there? Y'all don't want to fucking run? I mean, um... What a float your boat. It's a person. But they come. Okay. 
What the fuck? Mm. Mm -hmm. Almost like it was draining her of just everything until she barely had strength to stand up on her own. Alright, Sheena, but you want to go ahead and come out and explain this? I mean, seriously. Don't be stupid, please. No! I think my combo do. Yeah, you're looking for Shinobu. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 I kind of figured that too. Mm -hmm. You know what, come to let's not talk about that right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry about it now. Just get the hell out of here.
So then this must be the same part when um when Hanegawa came and then she found out the school was burnt down. That has to be it. I don't know, maybe. I'm like 50-50 on that. <laughs> You're gonna get out alive. You're gonna be fine. Sanjata, Shinobu, that too, yeah, 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 because reasons. Yes, I, I kept wondering, like, mm, if she ain't here, where the fuck she at? I mean, there's barely windows, so you can just jump through one. I mean, goddamn, this poor, like, <gasps> best girl! <laughs> this poor abandoned school, oh my god. Well, in a way, my child came to save him, so that's it. I mean, okay, but we got some questions. Excuse me, motherfucker. Okay, where the fuck is Sheena Boo? That's question number one. That's the biggest thing, because, I mean, I'm trying to think of when or where this takes place, but, like, I'm still kind of guessing it's it, it's somewhere. It's in the between of somewhere or something, but it has to be sometime between... When Hanekawa was living at the school herself. And then Sanjahara came in the middle of the night. Because, he, as Kambadu said, there was a bed on, uh, you know, the floor below them that was set up in a way. And the last person who had made that was Hanekawa. So that's the only thing I can really go on, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm like 50% sure. Out of all the things to come out with the samurai. What the f- I, I mean, interesting, because, like, it, it has to be. I mean, it would make the most sense, because, like, she she talked about him in the movie, and then a little bit in the TV show, but not as much as she did in the movie, and then she has the sword. So, I, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see enough of the tale. But, hmm. She and Will got some explaining to do. I mean, ultimately, this girl- woman, child, I mean, girl, what the fuck, I, I, I just, whew. I, I can't really say anything else about this, but this is a really good episode, I mean, I, I'm still wondering, I was like, I was all ready for Kambadu to meet, it was her, I think it was her aunt, right, um, for them to meet, all for them ready to see that, I have this little mini reunion, even though this is the first time they're gonna see each other, and you don't even give me that at the end of <laughs> this episode. I was all gonna be right, and I was, like, freaking crying-ish, but I knew I wasn't too, like, I, I kind of figured we were not going to get to it in this episode, so, I mean, but still, when Shinobu comes back, whether she comes back in this next episode, or the following two episodes in the, in the next week, yeah, she got some explaining to do, because <laughs> it's like, I wasn't expecting somebody, somebody from her past to come back and to literally um, have Agaragi and Kambaru to send a freaking message to her. I mean, this was like some, you, you know how like, okay, if you see Mulan, I mean, everybody's seen fucking Mulan. If you haven't, like, I mean, mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about live action, because live action ain't been out yet, but cartoon, you know, now all of China knows you're here, I mean, like, Jesus, like, yeah, every kind, everybody, you know, it, well, not really everybody in this group, but these two know you're here, and then, of course, Shinbu's gonna know, but then he doesn't know that Shinbu's here, 
is it there and stuff so i mean it's getting i, I don't know but i mean with the beginning of this episode i kind of like you, you could tell it was going to be a shinbu centric arc but i wasn't expecting as i said again someone from her past to show up because i'm thinking okay everyone who she's come up into contact from ever since she's been a vampire up until now except agaragi and his friends are really his yeah, his friends. Mm -hmm. I'm about to say group. His friends. They're everyone else who she's known in the past. They're all dead. Her being considered a god and everything. Her people and everything. They're all dead. She's literally the last of the decade or however long she's been, you know, a vampire. So that could be years and years of just of loneliness that she's had because people have lived aged up and then died and so until she's been the only one left of her decade in my opinion until she met Akanaki and you know changed his life and just like that but <laughs> I, I'm just like I said I'm gonna keep I'm gonna say it, it, it's it's her first love the first person that she turned and that it's just a spirit using the samurai outfit and, and it's like that i'm not 100 percent sure maybe in the next episode we'll find out but who knows go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode nine okay episode nine and three two oh my god let me do that again three two one go Well, this girl is kind of complicated. Yeah. Mm hmm. So you just did it. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Well, well. Uh Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, as I said, Beth girl, complicated as fuck, but I mean, if Shinobu was around, I mean, I think we would get a lot of more questions to answer, but I, I think she's coming. It's just, it's not time for her yet. And I get that. I mean, she is somewhat of the main focus of this arc, but I mean, we gotta wait. Of course, because you can't tell oh no key best girl ever living.
I believe so. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, we still got the promise, but you can arrange it another time. This is important now. You're just postponing it in a way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad she's a good friend. I know somebody who's probably watching this show had like the biggest foot fetish, but uh, Yeah, because you never know what could happen if you just send her home. <laughs> I can't. Mm.
But you'll be protected by them, and you'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a long ass walk. I mean, it would have been better if you had your car. But no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, this is why Ononoki should have stayed with y'all, but... Mm.
Okay, but, uh, um, yeah. Girl, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and say something. You know you want to. Okay. Wait, incompetent. You know, that that's a bad idea, but I mean, do you have your phone? I mean, you could call him. Jesus Christ, Conbro. <laughs> Well, that was quick. Oh, oh she The hell are you doing here? Oh, damn. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you, you're hurt. That's right. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 You were... Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was fighting with Hanek. What a Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
that makes sense. Yeah, but you still want to tell him. Yeah, because they were all supposed to be dying in here as well. Wait, no, what the fuck? I mm -hmm. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I'm guessing because it, it looks like the arm. It it didn't look like a monkey arm, it looked like a um a crab arm, honestly. Sandra Hada? But I, I don't know anymore. I don't know. I don't know. We ain't gonna know until next week. Hell, I mean, maybe if I'm not busy as much, I'll probably watch the next episode in a few. Really, because I got one more thing to watch tonight since it was delayed because of stupid fucking reasons. Thank you, Funimation. Um, but, yeah. What the fuck? I, I mean... Out of all the places for Shinobuda to be in the park, sleeping underneath a swing set, or really un un underneath a swing, unseen set, but shit. But I, I was thinking, okay, we're going to see Gaian, they're going to have a conversation, they're yada yada yada, but I, I don't know now. And now this thing is there, and they're about to fight again, and we're not going to see that it's all that sweet, but what the fuck indeed? I mean, bruh. I wasn't expecting this, especially because I was thinking we weren't going to find Shinobu until maybe, let's see, because this is episode nine, 8 9. And I think we have, I think this, this season as a whole, I think it's either 12 or 13 episodes. So I was thinking we were going to find her in the next two episodes or something. I wasn't 100% sure. But, um, yeah, what the fuck indeed. Uh, Kamaru... <laughs> I still love you no matter what. You were just... You... You, <laughs> you and Oshino's niece. You guys are literally... Look up the word extra in the dictionary. And it's a picture of these two. And anyone else who is just as extra in this goddamn series. But I love it so freaking much. 
but now the biggest thing is like what the fuck is gonna happen next of course you know this thing is there and like i said they're gonna fight but um yeah i don't know how that's always gonna, how that's gonna go because um <laughs> who knows me i don't really know it's what i think but I mean, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this episode. It was good. It was entertaining. And it was, I mean, it, and this, it, it makes me go back to like several episodes ago when we had the arc on Kamaru and her backstory. And we finally got to see both Agaragi, you know, older Agaragi and her together again for the first time in a while. And seeing them even together like this, even though he's still... Um, it's not even near where the part where he graduated yet and just the dynamic that these two have with each other and the relationship that they have it's just really wholesome and then no matter what um happens they're always going to be there for each other i mean it's the same thing really with almost any girl who he's friends with in this show i mean despite um what's her face from last week and then a couple other characters like i would have to say maybe my other best girl but not really, like, with Central Hada or Kamaru or Shinobu or Hanekawa, because those, the relationship that he has with those four women, yeah, mm -hmm. the relationship that he has with those four, plus a little bit of Mayoi on the side, um, to me, it's more tight-knit, and it's very grasp-worthy, that you can just feel, I, I don't know, I mean, <laughs> I'm <laughs> just saying things and say things, but just uh, just the way that he treats them versus some other people. I mean, it's just like, damn, like, their friendship. Like, probably when this series ends, when I get to the end of it, because we are getting somewhat close, um, it, it's going to be something that lasts us for the lifetime with them. I mean, everything that they've gone through from the beginning of this show up until now, <laughs> It would just be so funny if we get to that very last episode of this damn series and they're all, like, in their mid-40s or even 50s and they're just sitting there all together just reminiscing about everything. Like, oh, hey, remember when we did this? Like, I, I don't know why, but I kind of want to see that just because the dynamic with them is just so good and just seeing them to reminisce about something and the dangers that they had to face and, like, knowing that, like, maybe somebody could have been killed or whatever but like hey you never really know but like i said i have no fucking clue what the hell is gonna happen next i mean with that ending you can kind of tell but at the same time somebody could come in guyan could come in and be like hey let's shut this shit down ish because guyan oceano's niece could pop up um hanikawa could pop up possibly sinjohada could pop up i have a feeling that both sinjohada and hanikawa are going to possibly pop up in this next episode. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to video towards episodes 8 and 9 of A Lot of Matter God today. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for our Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 10 and 11. Bye, guys.